sexy, tasty Valentine's Day mocktails made simple at home. And I'm gonna show you how. Come on, let's go make some babies. I have three Valentine's Day mocktail recipes for you today. We're using the Liars Italian Orange in all of them. I chose this because of the gorgeous color. It's gonna be perfect for the holiday, but also because it's like a Campari in flavor, so it's gonna add some complexity to our mocktails. We're still gonna get a variety of flavors and textures by switching up our syrups and our mixers. So let's get this show on the road. For the Girl Crush, you will need Liars Italian Orange, fresh lemon juice, vanilla syrup, I'm using sugar-free, dry sparkling vanilla soda, cocktail cherries, and a lemon swath for garnish. We'll start by adding an ounce and a half of Liars Italian Orange to our mixing glass or tin. Then a half ounce of fresh lemon juice, followed by a boop of our vanilla syrup. Ice that up and secure your tin. Now give it a really nice 15 second or so shake to get it nice and chilled. Strain that into your iced highball glass. Then stir in your dry sparkling vanilla soda. Next, we're going to garnish it with a lemon swath. We're going to make this little lemon swath into a cute heart. Secure that with a cocktail pick. And then add a cherry. And there you have it, the Girl Crush. Okay, let's give this Girl Crush a try. Mmm, really good. Get those notes of vanilla that just rounds it out, but it's very approachable. Most people drink this, very drinkable. Yeah. For the Red Dove, you will need Liars Italian Orange, fresh lime juice, non-alcoholic triple sec, rose water, spicy margarita kombucha mixer, black lava salt, and dried rosebuds for garnish. We're going to start out by adding a salt rim to a coupe glass, or whatever glass you prefer. Then we're going to add two ounces Liars Italian Orange to our mixing glass or tin, followed by half ounce fresh lime juice, a boop of non-alcoholic triple sec, then three dashes of rose water. Ice that up, secure your tin, then shake, 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 and shake a little more. Then we're going to strain that into our coupe glass. Next, we're going to top it off with our spicy margarita kombucha mixer and garnish with a lime wheel and a cute little family of dried rosebuds. And there you have it, the Red Dove. Let's give this Red Dove a try. Mmm, it's spicy. Oh, that's so good. Mmm. It's like spicy, a little bit of bitter, and then that rose water hits you and it's like a really whisper of a floral note. Very good. For the fade into you, you will need Liars Italian Orange, fresh lemon juice, orgeat, aquafaba, non-alcoholic champagne, lemon swath, and candy hearts for garnish. Aquafaba is a liquid from a can of chickpeas and is often used as a substitute for egg whites in cocktails or in our case, mocktails to add texture and foam. To make aquafaba, simply drain the liquid from a can of chickpeas. When shaken, it creates a frothy, creamy mouthfeel. Start out by adding one and a half ounces Liars Italian Orange, followed by one half ounce fresh lemon juice. Then we're going to add a half ounce of Orgeat, which is a syrup made with almonds, sugar, and orange flower water. Then we'll add a half ounce of our aquafaba. We're going to ice that up, secure our tin, and give it a really good shake. I mean a really good shake. You need to aerate this aquafaba so you get that silky texture and foamy head. Then strain that into your glass. I'm using a Nick and Nora, but you can use a martini glass or whatever you have on hand. Top it off with your non-alcoholic champagne, and we're going to garnish this with a lemon swath. Make sure to express this over your mocktail. 
And then we're going to add some little candy conversation hearts for fun. And voila, the fade into you. Let's give this one a try, the fade into you. Mmm. Wow, it's like creamy and sweet, but with the brightness of the citrus, it's still light and refreshing. And the champagne, the bubbly, it's very good, very sexy, very delicious. I can't decide which one's my favorite. Tell me which ones you're going to try out in the comments and uh, subscribe if you want to see more mocktails and all things non-alcoholic. Cheers.